How's it going, YouTube? My name's Kevil, and welcome back to the Craftadius server. Today, I'm very excited. We got a lot to cover in today's episode, because a lot has been done since I ended the last episode. Alright, guys, we are in a secret, undisclosed location. This is Warp Kevil, and I am hoping that uh, those of you who are actually playing on the server will come here and read this. I'm going to be announcing it every day for the next five days in the uh, server chat. And I'm going to hope some people come and sign up because I'm giving away uh, one summer key here and then two mega keys. So the grand prize first person drawn is going to get uh, a couple blocks of diamond. I'm not sure how many yet, but the summer key is really the big deal here. The second name I draw is getting one mega key and less diamonds. And then the last name I draw is getting one mega key, just one. Uh, so the way that you are going to join, you need to watch this episode, which hopefully you are. I am hoping you leave a like and subscribe to the video. Not required, but heavily encouraged. I, I really would like you guys to stick around. In the link to this video is the actual giveaway. It will be on a Discord that I am actually creating as soon as I am done editing this video. I'm going to get that Discord all created so that way when the video goes out, uh, the link to the Discord will work. All you need to do is join that Discord. You need to go to the uh, announcements page and all you need to do is react to that announcement and that is you joining the giveaway. So I will look through there, see the list of names of everybody who react. I will uh, put in a random number generator, and then whatever number I get is going to be who I message. And you will have 24 hours to reply to my message so we can set up a time to meet up on the server so I can hand you your rewards, most likely in this room. So I really, really hope that you guys go sign up. I would love to give these away. I would love to see what you guys get and just kind of interact with those of you who are watching my videos and are on the server. So thank you guys for watching. Much appreciated. And I hope you the best of luck in this giveaway. So as you might remember, this was all bedrock and kind of ugly. This is what I've decided I want to be repeated throughout this entire base area here. And the reason for that is because this entire level, I uh, think three blocks high or four blocks high, yeah, four, is going to be all storage. So this will be the base layer of the base. And this entire area is going to be cleared out, you can see here. And this is all going to be uh, four block high of storage. So we'll have three chests literally covering this entire area. So hopefully that will solve all my storage issues because this is getting annoying and we'll not have to worry about lighting. And then I'll also decorate in between. This is just kind of going to be my blank slate that I can work with for decorating. All right, guys, first things first, let's go look at my new guild. So if you've seen the right hand side where it says Craft Data Network, it shows the money I have below that. It was also telling you that I am guild L. So if we come over to warp nice XP, this here is a guardian farm that was created by my guild before I joined them. Guardians have quite a few different drops and we have been collecting all those drops and storing them over here. We have tons of prismarine. Uh, the cod drop is pretty frequent and that's worth a lot of money actually. This we give away for free. And then these can be sold along with the uh, pufferfish. And then also, if anybody dies here, which I've cleaned this chest out quite recently. But basically, I came here and they were using a normal sorting system that you might have seen. However, due to lag on the server, it is quite often that you will see items flow right over hoppers without going in them. So they were coming over to this overflow prote uh, protection chest, but this would fill up in 20 minutes. We'd get this chest completely full, and then we would be losing 90% of our items. They would just be despawning over here on top of the hopper. So I came along uh, and decided that I wanted to figure out a way that was a lag-proof storage system. And the way I did that was I created this system here 
that I just kind of came up with on my own. Uh, there's a good chance that this has definitely been used other places, but I was just trying to, to be smart and come up with a way to collect all the items without them flowing right over the hoppers and us losing them. I didn't want one super tall storage silo because those annoy me. I hate going up a ladder to just look at my storage. So I'm going to grab this prismarine here. So I've got two hoppers here that all the items are currently able to go into because this piston is extended. So the way I have this piston extended is a redstone, a redstone torch here that is always keeping this extended. However, if you know how uh, hopper outputs work, you can get a redstone signal out of this hopper, which is what this uh, comparator is looking at. And as this hopper fills up, it will give a stronger and stronger and stronger redstone signal until it turns this torch off and this piston retracts. So when this piston retracts, it will allow items to flow to these two hoppers. So these are full. It'll flow here, fill up that storage silo, and then this one will retract, and then it'll flow all the way to that last chest. So if that chest is ever full, we know our entire storage is full. Uh, I'm really happy with how this design turned out. It's definitely ugly back here, I will agree, but it was a lot of fun designing the system. So to give you guys a quick description of how this works, if I place one stack, you'll see how this signal is actually lit now. It's going to here. And as the hopper empties, the signal is getting weaker and weaker and weaker until it turns off. However, if you completely fill your storage, the water is now flowing past and is entering up to here, where this piston is extended. So now this silo can fill up while people are farming away. And then as this, as you remove things from these chests, this hopper empties. You'll see the signal is getting weaker and weaker. Until right now, you can see the torch turn back on. And now our water is being blocked and only these hoppers are receiving items. So what else has happened in between episodes? I have obtained two turtles who I thought were going to be a good source of money by breeding them and selling either the eggs or the uh, the shoots. However, I failed to remember that turtles are kind of disabled right now. They are extremely slow. Uh, I've been on the server for a few hours and I think this guy only just bred this egg, which is that... Oh. We actually might have two eggs there. So this is Virgin Turtle and TT Showbiz. And these guys uh, are quite slow. But let's see if I can get another breeding batch started. Oh, yep. We've got love hearts. So we are going to get another batch of eggs whenever they decide to lay them. Because look how turtles are normally slow. These guys are insanely slow. But we just got somebody to start breeding. But look at that. The leg is so bad for the turtles. And the last thing before I start getting some work done, I had a very successful time in the nether. I was flying around, I was looking for unexplored uh, nether fortresses, it took me a good 40 minutes to find them. So here we have one spawner, we have a second blaze spawner, we have a third blaze spawner, we have a fourth blaze spawner so i can remove that the blazes will come in a later episode just wanted to show that they are there and waiting for us so i'm gonna get started finishing the floor get some work done in here clear some more of i want to get this whole ceiling this high so i'm gonna do that and meet you guys right back here Welcome guys to my first ever time-lapse chat. So I left the noise from this time-lapse on just quietly in the background because honestly I think it sounds really cool when it's sped up by 900 times. Uh, but this is me mining out I a huge ton of ores that I just got from mining out this area of my base. So I decided to make a giant cake out of all these ores and just mine it together really quick. Uh, we still have about 30 seconds left until it's over, so how's it going, you guys? Uh, I hope you guys join the giveaway. I really would like a lot of participation. I'm hoping that some people get some really cool items out of it. 
Uh, thank you. Please leave a like and subscribe. And enjoy this noise. Alright guys, we just finished. This was my first time using my subscribe pickaxe. I accidentally broke two blocks, uh, this one and this one in that wall. But otherwise, everything else was just the ores. We just mined out 1,013 ore blocks. That is insane. I didn't realize it was that much. However, I left this strip of diamonds, a creeper. So I left these diamonds here because I was just mining with a fortune three. Because I knew I was going to get a ton of drops. I didn't feel the need to use a fortune 4. But in this game, they have created obsidian pickaxes. Which give you uh, efficiency 6, unbreaking 4, and fortune 4. And I am saving this to basically only mine diamonds. So let's do this real quick. Past 60. So I do not know how many blocks that was. Uh, I'll have to go back and count. But man, we got one and a half stacks of diamond. Now if we come over here, this chest is completely full. Tons of lapis. I'll have plenty of enchanting I can do. And then all this redstone. I don't even know what I'm going to use it for. And then more coal here. So I'm going to drop these diamonds in here. Alright guys, so here it is a little better organized. Plenty of stacks of redstone. Lots of lapis. Going to last a long time. And then a good amount of coal, so I can throw in those furnaces. And uh, more iron is being smelted as we speak. So it's a pretty good haul from just mining out this area. And I still have plenty more iron to grab from... What is this? seven more chunks to clear out oh plus these I, yeah i've still got like 10 chunks to clear out so definitely a lot more iron we're going to be getting uh, i'm not sure whether i'm going to keep it because iron's always good mostly for anvils that's the uh and hoppers definitely going to need a lot, a lot of hoppers so that iron's not going anywhere the redstone on the other hand might get sold uh because i i know i'm going to need a decent amount of redstone but there is no way I will ever use this much. Uh, so I'm saying now, but I could get proven wrong. So the next thing I want to do this episode, uh, I need to go grab my other stuff, which I threw in this chest. Oh, and there was more redstone I didn't even notice. So obsidian can go back up there, fortune there. I need to go mend my... Uh, smooth pick, and then I will meet you guys back for some more exciting things. This is about everything I'm willing to do down here as of now. So I'm going to remove these. So the next thing I want to do is probably go build the nether portal. So if we hop back up to 9, which is just above where we were, we got. Uh, I have... A, I'm going to put the obsidian pick back just in case I die. Oh, even more diamonds in here. So we're pretty rich right now. It's nice. So over here, I've got this shulker box, which is full of all these uh, nether related things. Uh, this has been the portal I've been using every time I want to hop into the nether. However, it's ugly and I kind of hate it. So this chunk, I'm going to have... Uh, this whole floor is going to become Dark Prismarine uh, eventually, but Dark Prismarine is really expensive because it's very difficult to get ink. Very difficult, and it's super expensive in the shop. So uh, that's going to come later, but I'm going to have this blend from Dark Prismarine into Nether Brick, and uh, I actually had more Dark Prismarine. That's nice. I didn't realize that. So I'm going to turn this into a little, like, uh, looks like the nether area. It's going to go kind of high, a large portal. So uh, I left obsidian down there. So I'm going to I'm gonna get started on this. I'm going to have it blend in, big portal, uh, kind of with a, a shape to it. So I'm going to get started on that and meet you guys back here when I get some progress done. 
All right, guys, so I got some progress done. I am super unhappy with it, not going to lie. I definitely do not like the shape. I don't like the half moon look at all. Uh, definitely, I'm, I still haven't decided how I'm going to shape this, but uh, basically I'm thinking I'm going to come back and tear all this down, but I really, I don't feel like the creative spark right now, so I'm going to leave this and come back to it because... I need some inspiration, might go look around for some other portals and see if there's some some inspiration I can get for this. Uh, but definitely want something large, something with a big shape to it, but this is not the one. This will definitely be something for a later video, not today. So I'll, I'll get some progress done on this later, but for now that is just going to be left in the ugly way it is. But before I switch back to uh, what we were doing, I did make some more progress on the big monument here for the base. Uh, we also had a, a new neighbor move in over there. Uh, the timeline is way messed up because I actually forgot to show the progress done on the nether portal. It's actually This is actually like episode 3 recording time, uh, but throwing this in. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to show off the progress here now instead of in episode 3. Uh, but this will definitely be fully finished by the end of episode 3, so you can see what it really is. But I'm wondering if anybody in the comment belows could just guess what this is from what I have right now. Yeah, I'd be interested in knowing if you can tell what we're looking at right now. Alright guys, so I'm going to be ending the video here. We are out of time. But before I do that, this is basically what I've accomplished since we last spoke. So, if I come up here... Alright guys, so here is my new AFK and cow farm. So I can just AFK somewhere in here, and I will have cows constantly just dropping in here. And I can speed up the drops if I really need money by standing here and whacking with my sword, but this will mostly be for AFK. Now, if you guys uh, watch Impulse or Skizzleman, I basically just copied their spawner but I have four of these going. So I think the uh, the cow spawn timer is like uh, two per minute, like one every 30 seconds or something like that. So I, I've been timing it and this is as efficient as possible because each cow dies quicker than 30 seconds. So uh, these are just all constantly going, dropping in their cows. So it's, it's been really good. Uh, I managed to get, I think, like $10,000 just from AFKing here while uh, watching a video. So if I AFK overnight and the server doesn't kick me, I should be able to get like 50 grand just from uh, leaving my computer on overnight. So that should be really nice. You can start getting some income that way. And if you notice, I currently have only uh, $5,000 in my bank account. And that's because I just got a spider spawner. Uh, thank you. Uh, oh, what was his name? Uh, he went offline. It was Captain something. But he sold it to me cheap. Uh, he was asking for uh, 250 But I told him I only had... Uh, 200,000, so he gave it to me for just 200,000. Uh, so I'm going to drop this in here with the others. So the next big project is the Blaze Farm. I would like to get four of all of these, so each of my farms is going to be four spawners. Uh, Silverfish, that's not going to happen. The Silverfish is kind of just like a shits and giggles uh, for fun build. Uh, there's going to really be no reason for it. Uh, the XP drop will be nice, but uh, I'm not actually going to make any money off of it. So it can just be there for people to grind silverfish if they want to. Uh, because that is the plan for the, uh, the, the five chunks over there. It'll be uh, all public grinders where I get the drops and they get the XP. So I'm really excited to see how that ends up. So let's pop back down to the to-do room, and we are going to uh, make the list for what I'm going to do next episode, 
and then this video will be over. So I'm gonna remove cow spawner, and we're gonna pretend I did this. Yeah, I'm not doing that this week. So next week we are going to do the blaze spawner. So that's gonna be awesome. Uh, we are also going to start a wither farm. So, uh, with my guild, we are, if I go to home wither, no, a home blaze four, because it was near, it was near blaze four. So this is where the fourth blaze spawner was that I found, and if I... So if I fly on over here, uh, this area, or I'm thinking I might actually do it here because I think for maximum efficiency, uh, four ways are the best. And then it helps that this is right here. So there's kind of some overlap here. I could possibly do a big rectangle here. Uh, I need to look into how far skeletons can spawn outside of the platform, but uh, I'm going to try to make it as efficient as possible by reducing all spawns because if you notice, there's like nothing here. Uh, and that's because like we got pigmen who are chilling over there. Uh, all of the spawns have been taken up by uh, other things and it's also being taken up by other people who are currently in the nether. So it is going to be less efficient than uh, let's say this was a solo uh, world. But I'm going to attempt to make the most efficient spawner possible uh, on this server. So that should be fun for next episode. We'll get started on that. Uh, possibly even uh, finish it. Uh, I, I don't know if I'll be able to put in the time to get it fully finished. But I'll definitely get some big work done. And it should be exciting. Uh, so all I'm going to have to do is clear this nether rack, uh, get rid of the fortress over here. Uh, it's really a low amount of work just because of how much lava is in this area. Like this will have to go or be covered in buttons, uh, but it should be a lot of fun. I'm definitely excited. Uh, so if we head back to to do. Uh, what is the last thing we'll do next episode? Oh, storage. So, storage is very needed. So, what I did before I end, uh, I was thinking I'll build these up three high and kind of have a pathway here and then have pathways this way to the different storage. But I actually don't know if I'm going to like that. I, th I feel like that's just going to look messy and kind of dumb. So I might just remove all these chests and just have uh, chest three high across all the wall in this square. So that'll be plenty of chests. That'll, that'll be a lot of chests and then manually sort. Because uh, water streams don't truly work on the server due to the lag. Uh, but yeah, that that's all I have time for today. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did enjoy, please leave a like and remember to subscribe. Uh, giveaway, link in the description. Hope you enjoy.